Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover in London, and I'm here with Bob Pavar Stogi. And SAP HANA is something that uh, HPE has clearly been a, a market leader in for a while. But what is it that customers actually look to HPE to deliver versus someone else? Yeah, absolutely. So um, SAP HANA is really the journey. Uh, so most customers want to start small, add capacity as they grow. Uh, the ultimate goal and objective really is to be able to run analytics and transactions on the same database instance. Uh, but when they're looking for an, uh, an SAP HANA infrastructure solution partner, uh, what, their, what their biggest and most important set of requirements are really around flexibility, scalability, performance, and then reliability. So uh, let me start with scalability. Because SAP HANA is a journey, uh, you need to be able to seamlessly scale. So let's say you want to start with a small analytics instance, ultimately you want to get to a large uh, data warehouse, uh, eventually you might want to run s hana uh, which is the ability to run uh, analytics and transactions in the same machine. So the question everybody should be asking their hardware vendors is, do I have the ability to start small, add capacity, uh, what are the different sizes that are available? Uh, can I go up to something that's 16 sockets, 16 terabytes, or 20 sockets, 20 terabytes in a single scale-up instance? Or can I scale out as large as uh, 192 terabytes? And uh, uh, that's, that's really one set of questions. So, uh, so when you talk about the scale, though, are, are you talking like um, individual servers, like hyper-converged servers? Are you talking actually the composable stuff in the Synergy platform, or a little bit of everything? Uh, well, uh, our solutions for SAP HANA uh, are more aligned with uh, infrastructure and solutions that are purpose-built and optimized for a very specific workload, which okay. is SAP HANA. Uh, and then, uh, you know, as you go through uh, a customer adoption journey, you know, the second set of questions you really want to ask uh, 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 customers should ask the hardware vendors is around what's the f what kind of flexibility do I get? So uh, a couple of examples of flexibility could be uh, there can be different choices of deployment and consumption models. So I want to run HANA on premise, or I want to run HANA in the cloud, or maybe I want to do a hybrid approach. So you know that's something that HP differentiates itself in. Uh, we have a portfolio that lets customers run on premise in the cloud or do a hybrid combination. Uh, the other example of flexibility could be uh, what we call uh, different deployment models. So SAP has you know, a concept of appliances which are purpose built, optimized, uh, designed to run uh, one application that's SAP HANA and uh, they're designed for nothing but the best performance. Uh, the other deployment model could be tailored data center integration or TDI which is uh, 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 a model that gives customers the flexibility to use their preferred storage vendor, their preferred compute vendor, essentially put together a multi-vendor solution. So, uh, so that's really you know uh, some of the questions every everybody should look at uh, answering uh, uh, when it comes to an SAP HANA uh, adoption. Uh, the third set of uh, uh, criteria really should be around uh, reliability. Uh, if you're going to be running your mission critical uh, SAP HANA instance, the last thing you want is for the system to go down. Uh, what's the disaster recovery strategy? What's the business continuity strategy? Do I have backup and recovery solutions? Uh, and that's really where we are different from all the other vendors that are out there. We have the only solution that offers fully automated unattended high availability and disaster tolerance for SAP HANA. So it's not like... Uh, and can, you, can you break down what that means? Uh, so yeah, perfect. So uh, you know, one example could be, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're in Houston and uh, Houston got flooded. Uh, what do you do? I mean, does that mean that uh, your data centers go dark? Or is there a solution where I can fail over from Houston to Austin and have Austin uh, uh, fail over almost instantly, automatically, in an unattended fashion, uh, giving the business uh, a real uh, business continuity solution. So that's that's really you know one example. The other one would be uh, you know if somebody just slips over the power card. You know it doesn't happen not too often, but you know uh, 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 you can't really rule that out. Uh, there are some solutions out there, uh, but they require manual failover. It would be like the same as knowing when lightning's gonna strike ahead of time. So that's probably not the 
reassurance you want to give to your business when you are entrusting your infrastructure vendor with your most mission critical data. Uh, and then finally, you know, uh, the uh, 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 what customers should look for in their different hardware and solution vendors is what kind of experience and expertise do they have with not just with architecting the best portfolio of solutions for SAP HANA, but also when it comes to deployment of the solutions, also when it comes to support. Uh, what sets us apart in the market is that we do end-to-end -end solutions and services uh, and support uh, for SAP HANA. That means it's a single vendor, it's a single point of contact. Uh, uh, it's not going to be a scenario or a situation where customers, if they're running the mission critical SAP HANA data, are being uh, you know, caught in a ping pong game. There's, but, there's, there's but, nobody pointing fingers and saying it. it's your it's your network stack, it's your it's your storage, it's your absolutely. Whatever. You know, you know, we're HPE. We own the stack from the top to bottom. Uh, you know, the buck stops with us. Uh, uh, we have uh, a, a dedicated solution support center of expertise uh, that does nothing but SAP HANA. So they're specialists in SAP HANA. Uh, and that's really uh, is the kind of reassurance you need to give your customers uh, when they're going to be looking at going all in to SAP HANA eventually. Uh, you want to, you don't want to be in a situation where, you know, it's Christmas time, the biggest uh, time of the uh, biggest revenue generating period, and this, the servers get loaded, the systems get overloaded, and you cannot get a hold of somebody on the other side to fix that situation. Uh, and, and really, just to kind of recap, uh, you know, uh, what we like to talk to our customers about is that uh, the criteria that are most important are scalability, uh, flexibility, reliability, and supportability. And that's uh, these are the four areas where HPE has excelled in. Uh, at this point, uh, uh, Gartner recently put out a white paper where they said that uh, HPE has 48%, almost about 48% market share when it comes to SAP HANA. And that's really twice the market share of the next closest competitor. And why market share data like this is so important is because it's a true reflection of a customer endorsement in our capabilities. It's not just you know, us talking about what we can do, it's actually customers experiencing uh, the value that we've been able to deliver. And then the other thing, of course, is IDC just recently came out with uh, a white paper where uh, they were able to demonstrate that customers running HPE solutions for SAP HANA, uh, they had a payback period in uh, under 12 months. And under 12 months? That's, that's incredible, that's uh, right? And a, and a five-year ROI of almost about 384%. And that's phenomenal considering uh, uh, you know, these solutions tend to be incredibly complex. We're talking about scale-out configurations that go as, as, as big as 192 terabytes. So it's not smaller systems we're talking about, but you know, just because we've been relentlessly focused on delivering uh, and building solutions for speed, simplicity, and efficiency, and we focus on the business outcomes, really. We don't quite focus on you know, uh, you know, anything other than what the customer needs are. And that's really been, uh, 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 it's really helped us be successful in helping customers meet their uh, business objectives about. And, and that's what it's all about really, is helping customers meet business Absolutely, objectives. and helping customers be successful. All right, well thank you. Sure.